Rightio folks, today I just want to make a short video on how to catch redfin and how easy it can be to catch redfin. The redfin in this dam where I am now, Fletcher's Dam, are mainly small. There are some bigger ones in here, but I'm only expecting to catch small fish today. And if I do happen to catch a larger fish, I'll see that as a bonus. What I'm going to teach you today is invaluable if you're taking your kids out fishing and they want to catch a fish. A lot of kids, it doesn't have to be the biggest fish in the river. They just want to catch something that wiggles. And the best way to do that is to start with the most abundant species of fish in southeast Australia, and that is the redfin. Where they're in here in Victoria and in New South Wales, there are literally hundreds of these small dams. This is an old mining dam, but there's also little stock dams, private dams, bigger lakes that are teeming with small redfin, with the odd bigger one, the same as this one here, which is Fletcher's Dam. What I'm using is a small Strike Tiger Nymph soft plastic. It's the smallest soft plastic in their range. And I'm also using the smallest jig head from their range of jig heads as well. It's the small soft the Strike Tiger jig head, but it's got the biggest head for the small size hook, if that makes sense. And what I'm going to do is thread that through the bum of the soft plastic and bring it out up near its head. Easy as that. That is right to go. That's all you need to do. I've chosen orange because it's a nice bright colour and redfin love bright colours. They're very inquisitive fish. And they like things that are bright and that stand out. And in this dark tannin water that we're experiencing in, in, in Fletcher's Dam at the moment, that orange should stand out like a beacon. And what I'm going to do is cast that over there close to that weed bed. I already know that's about two metres deep because I kayak here occasionally. So I'm going to let that sink about a metre and a half. If you didn't know how deep it was, you'd let your first cast sink to the bottom and then your next cast, you'd let it sink about three quarters of the way. So now, look at the end of my rod tip. See how I'm working that plastic? Let it sink a bit. And now just sort of bob it back in a little bit. Just bounce my rod tip around a little bit like that. Just to impart a bit of life into the soft plastic. But each time you do that, it rises up through the water column a bit. So I'm letting it sink. Oh, one hit that on the sink just then. Quite often, redfin will hit it on the drop. Or on the sink as the lure is sinking or the soft plastic is sinking which is what just happened then so i had a strike on the very first cast of the morning as i stated i haven't come here to catch monsters i'm just trying to teach you how easy it is to catch small redfin so that you can take kids out and get them involved i've got a bit of weed on here what that tells me is that i've let that sink too far so i'll reel that in and I'll take the weed off. I'll cast that out to the same spot. But I won't let it sink as long. In fact, I'll only let it go down about a metre, a metre and a half. I reckon that's enough. And I'll start, just got him. Oh, I missed him. Just dancing the rod tip around and I've had another strike. So they're out there and they're, they're active. Oh, there's a tutton. I'll let that sink a little bit. I'm going to dance that around again. Got him. Gee whiz, he is a small fish. When I said I was going to catch small ones, folks, I didn't think they were going to be that small. <laughs> He's tiny, look at that. That is a tiny little redfin of about three inches long, but I got it on what, my second or third cast of the morning. That's as easy as that, and that's all there is to it. Now, you would have noticed I threw that redfin back. A lot of people say, you're not allowed to throw them back anymore. They're a noxious species and it's illegal, blah, blah, blah. Yes, they are a noxious species of fish. But no, it's not illegal to release them. It's illegal to keep that alive. It's actually more illegal to keep that little redfin in a bucket of water or in a live well or a keeper net than what it is to throw it back in. Redfin don't live well with other fish species. They live well with some and not others. Some they dominate over and some dominate over them. And look at that. There's an even smaller one on the very next cast. <laughs> now I can tell you now that there are a few larger redfin in this waterway. And those larger redfin should hopefully go and peck off some of these small ones and then those larger ones will grow to be monsters. And that's why you often get waterways with a combination of heaps of little ones and just a small number of very large fish. So I'll let that sink a little bit now. Now I'm just bobbing it around. See the rod tip? Just dancing around. Dance, 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 dance. Quite often when you stop and let it sink like that is when the fish will hit it. Not always, but often. And with redfin, you can catch them with just a straight retrieve like that, using a soft plastic. But I personally think that it is far, far more beneficial 
to actually dance the soft plastic around and just make it look like it's a bit more alive. And also, that jerking sort of action like that makes the lure go fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. And a lot of fish will prefer to hit the lure in the slow cycle when you haven't got tension on the lure. So you're sort of, in a sense, you're bobbing the soft plastic, but you're not bobbing it directly under a boat or off a bank, a steep bank. You're bobbing it as you're reeling it in and then allowing it to sink. There's probably some kind of fancy name for this retrieve. I really don't know. I just do it. <laughs> That's the do it retrieve. Just do it. The Nike retrieve, we'll call it. So we're going to cast it out. We'll go over to the left a bit more this time. Over closer to the reeds over there. As I said earlier, there are larger fish here in Fletcher's Dam, but not very many of them. It's mainly a small fish waterway. But of these smaller fish, like the two I just caught, some will grow to be bigger. You've only got to just beat the other fish to these little minnows and stuff that I can see and just grow that little bit bigger than the rest and then they can start predating on the smaller fish and there's another one. Look at that. I've been here four or five minutes and I've caught three. They're getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> Not very much. But that's okay. That's what, I, that's what I come here to target. Because what I'm doing is teaching parents. I'm actually aiming this video at parents who want to take their kids fishing. There's also a clear example of the lateral line on the redfin. You see that line going down the side there? That line is the equivalent of our ear. We have ears to hear things. Fish have a lateral line to feel vibrations in the water. So if the water's dirty and you put on something like a bladed spinner or something with a rattle, that lateral line is how the fish detects that lure with the rattle. That's also how it detects bigger fish that are chasing it. Alright folks, I've just caught three. I don't need to catch any more. I've sort of taught what I wanted to teach. Cast it out, let it sink close to the bottom, and then just bounce it back in as you retrieve it. In a fast, slow, sort of any sort. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's one of those things that you can't do wrong. But just impart life into the lure. Make it look like it's alive. Make it look like, look like it's a living being. And it's not just Fletcher's Dam, you can do this off the bank at Lake Hume. I was up there with my daughter recently on the other side of the Bathanga Bridge, on the over near Bell Bridge. And we caught probably a dozen or so small redfin just off the bank of Lake Hume. We were swimming, we were wading waist deep. You can get them here in Fletcher's Dam, you can get them down there in Lake Kerford. You can do this at Lake Yildon, Lake Epilock. Any of the lakes and small dams, even privately stocked farm dams. Irrigation channels that contain redfin. Anywhere where there's redfin, this technique will work.